action. Nine years ago, I was up in the woods in northern Minnesota, and I was going deer hunting for the first time. I had sat by the trail where I was going to be thinking I was going to shoot this deer. I was 30 feet away from a trail, and I was sitting there waiting, and it was about an hour before I heard anything coming through the trees. I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and all of a sudden, an hour later, I hear this rustling of the leaves and tree branches, and so I was quiet, and I got my gun in position, assuming where I thought the deer would come through. So he walked along the path, and when he got 30 feet away from me, in front of me, he stopped, he looked at me, and I had the gun pointed at him, I was ready to shoot, and I heard a voice say, don't shoot. I then looked around because the back of the, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. I looked around and there was nobody there. So I thought to myself, well, if I can't shoot this deer, I just as well go home. So I get up and crawl up the embankment where I was at. And a few feet away, there was my neighbor and her son. And I said, did you say don't shoot? And they said, no. And I said, never mind. And so then we were continuing. It was starting to get dark by this point, so we decided we were going to walk home. As we were walking home, two doe deer jumped out in front of us. I didn't have a doe permit, so I told him I can't shoot, so you'll have to shoot. The young boy, he shot at the deer, took a shot at him, missed, and they were still standing there, so he shot again. This time he got the deer, and we decided, okay, we're going to go over there and take the deer home. Well, I said, well, since there's snow on the ground, I've got a sled at home. I'll get the sled and then we'll just drag it home. It'll be a lot easier getting it out of the swamp because that's where the deer ended up at. Well, my husband had seen me coming down the trail because it was we were a good mile and a half away from my house. As I was walking back, my husband met me and I said, here, you can take the gun home and clean it because it was getting wet out because it was raining, actually kind of misty out. I told my husband um, the gun needed to be cleaned and ready for another day. So he takes it home as we go and get this deer. We come back with the deer and my husband had taken the gun home and cleaned it and he says, well, it's a good thing you didn't shoot the gun because he had found a rag in the barrel of the gun. Had I shot it, I would have blown myself up. So I, it was a very good thing that the I listened to that voice.